Me and Gennaro love a sweet treat. We love a cake. We do indeed. And Gennaro's got a little treat for us yeah. to behold because we're going to make the most delicious lemon and polenta Amalfi cake, you right? It's cake, yes. This yes. is where you come from. Torta, torta, Amalfi torta. Torta, tor crostata. Torta di limone. Torta di limone. It's so good. Cake. So simple. Tart. So delicioso. First thing that I love in life is Gennaro. I said yes! And then the other thing I like is cake. So this is celebrating one of the key ingredients of the Amalfi Coast. <sighs> and it's a beautiful lemon. Are we going to use juice? No. Are we going to use zest? No. We're going to boil the lemon over here. We boil this for about 20 minutes in boiling water. When it's soft, let it cool down a little bit. Gennaro, show him your lemon. And as you can see, my lemon's a bit bigger than his lemon, but lemons do change in size, you know, as you go around the world. Um, so roughly that or that, it's all good. It needs to be cooled down. It's not down. very specific, is it? But don't worry about it. Just let your hair down <laughs> and whatever size lemon you get in life, you go with it. And then by boiling the lemon, you're just creating almost like a marmalade depth of citrus joy. Okay, so if you cut that in half, Janara. Uh, Janara um, is just removing the seeds. That's the only thing that we don't want. We want the pith, we want the juice, and we want the skin, but not the seeds. Here, I've got 250 milliliters of beautiful extra virgin olive oil. Now, using fat in a sponge traditionally would be butter, right, which is sweet and delicious. But of course, in Southern Europe, where it's hotter, olive oil is used, and you get amazingly light sponges in the use of olive oil. So 250 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna go in with the skin and the pith and all the juice of that lovely lemon. And then I'm just gonna whiz it up. It's gonna be beautiful. I wish you could smell, it's already smelled. The lemon zest that goes around, it's incredible. So oh in the bowl, the recipe is very, very simple. We're gonna go in with four eggs and they're lovely free range eggs and we'll whisk those up, and we're gonna go in with another 250 right. grams, but this time of simple white caster sugar. As soon as it starts to go pale, which is not quite yet, Gennaro, no. just a little, little long, yeah, just come up. Do you want me to do it? Do you know what I do? I, I wanna see your action. Yeah. I wanna see if your action's different to mine. And then I'm gonna add in this wet element here, which is the, look at the color, amazing. Oh, mine, mine. Extra virgin olive oil and the lemon. And then as soon as you've done that, we're then gonna go in with 250 grams of almonds. So these are ground almonds. And then last but not least, polenta, 100 grams goes in. So that is basically our batter. All I wanna do, right. just to amplify the flavor, is a little pinch of salt pinch in of salt. there. It's ready now. Beautiful. Now, at this point, you've got the base of a beautiful sponge. Um, normally, me and Gennaro would cook it in a nice little 20 centimetre cake tin, right? That'll give you a lovely little tort, okay? But today, because we want to do these for the restaurants, we're going to do lovely little individual ones. And I think it's fantastic to show you that you can do nice big tarts or little small ones. We will cook these beautiful tarts for 20 minutes, these little ones, at 160 degrees Celsius. So, you want to get a nice little spoon of this mix into these little five inch moulds. I'll put yes, the rest see, in let's here. Let's go inside here. Very You're right. good. <laughs> you, you, well, yeah, it's not even cooked yet. So, let's get these cooking, Janar. Right. And then we can show these lovely people what to do next. Put them in the oven. So, Janar, whack that one in. Don't bang it when you close it, gently. Let's right. Cook. So, while that cooks, me and Gennaro, we're going to do a little clean down and then we'll show you what to do next. While our beautiful sponges cook, we have got some beautiful yes. tartlets already cooked. And you can see they've got a nice bit of colour and they're cooling down on a cake rack. So Gennaro, talk to people about one of the kings of the dairy world, mascarpone cheese. It's a base for all kinds of uh, tart, also with pasta, with the lasagna, with so and so and it's so. It's kind of like the Italian's version of clotted cream. So in that mascarpone, we're gonna put some of this beautiful vanilla paste. It is. Uh, a little yogurt is a nice kind of acidity to work with the richness. I love you. That just loosens up the mascarpone and takes it a little bit further. And then also we're gonna use just a little bit of sugar. Just enough to sweeten it. So about that. It's enough. Yeah. <laughs> There's a really amazing kind of a mouthy expression 
of like a lemon drizzle syrup. So basically, it's lemon juice and honey boiled together to make the most amazing syrup. Okay, that is nearly done, yeah. Can I have a little go? Yeah. You could use this idea, you know, as you would a buttercream on a little muffin, on a little cake. You can use it in tarts, tartlets, on torts. So I'm just gonna take a nice spoonful of this cream and just blob it on each one of these. On it goes. How lemons, you... everything was to do with the lemons. You have a coffee in the morning and you have a lemon inside. You have an sorbet with the lemon, you have an ice cream with the lemon, you have a tart with the lemon like we do. This one, you mix lemon and ricotta, they're fantastic. Little bit vanilla inside, just water and lemon, just a squeeze of a lemon in a glass. Lemon okay. pasta. Lemon with pasta. Lemon. Yeah. Lemon in the dressings. Lemon in the dressing, the lemons of a uh, zest of lemon spray everywhere. Feel good, set under the sun with a lemon oil on you and then become. Okay, so I think we've established that Gennaro and all the people of Amalfi love lemons. Fair? Yes, they do in this. Anyway, once we put the mascarpone on these lovely tartlets, <laughs> we'll sprinkle them with some lovely toasted almonds. Mm. Even more. Let me get a little plate. I'm going to place. The tart on little, each one. Shall I do a little zest of a lemon? Why not? Because I don't think there's enough lemon in this dish currently. Instead of grated, which you can do it, it's just have a little, little, just, just a few leaves of zest. I'm just drizzling a little of that lemon and honey syrup over the top. Absolutely stunning. And of course, that will sort of get into the cream and the sponge. And then over here, you can see Gennaro's done a fantastic job of doing a little finely sliced lemon. I want to have a tiny, tiny bit of lovely bitter chocolate. Just put it on a clean surface, put it up to your side, get a large knife, and just bring it towards you like this. Just a little just bit. Just a little bit, it's a gesture. What I should do, because Gennaro's here, is just take a little bit of basil. Why not? And it's just nice. give it a little kick, like that, for no reason. And there you go. That is Gennaro's beautiful Amalfi lemon tort, made by the man himself, with a little help from me. So, here it is. Our little individual yes. Amalfi inspired tart, cake, tort. Torta di limona. Beautiful. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh, this is. Oh my, oh, yeah. my. Really good. That is really good. Normally a sponge is just like spongy, which is why it's called a sponge. This is like, it's a tort. It's, it, it's kind of crumbly, it's moirish. The almonds in there, and the lemon is so fragrant and delicious. Delicious. So, from me and Gennaro, we want to send our love and this recipe. And until next time, what do we say? Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Ciao. I'm going to take two of them. Okay. Yeah. I'll go the other way. <laughs> <laughs>